This week on The Choice. It's day two here at Big Bear Country Outfitters with Jason Packer and Steve Evergard. We've only been in the stand for about 15 minutes, but you can see we already have company. So we're going to sit around and see what happens. The choice is about three things. Real honey. Going after the animal of your choosing with the weapon you win. Real adventure. From the mountains of Canada to the deserts of Mexico. But most of all, it's about real people. Hunters with families, jobs, and dreams. Their skills will be put to the test. Every situation is different. Success or failure. It all comes down to the choice. Drop the pen. That one's for you. Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to this week's The Choice. This week we're heading up to northern Alberta, Big Bear Country Outfitters, and we're hunting some big black bears. We got we got the emotional one. Fred yep. and Sam. Sam from the Rocky. man. Yeah, yeah, from Rocky. And we're actually, Sam's on his first ever bear hunt, which is awesome. Yeah. And you know, when we talk about big bears, we've always said it's, you know, it's it's hard to judge a bear because they got no head gear. But when a bear comes in and his forehead looks like this. A big crease in the middle. He's a shooter. He'd be a good, oh, oh. look at, he doesn't like you're talking about yeah, him that way. He's done. Yeah. Huh. Oh well. Hey, Lucky hey. Logo? Yes, this week's Lucky Logo is Hunter Safety Systems. You know, the bottom line here is they save lives. That's it. Don't go in a tree without a harness on. Always stay connected. Absolutely. And so we should just get going. Yeah, let's not waste any time. Look at Boom was boom. shedding oh, terribly. Wait, here. There you go. Look at That's good. Let's get going, shall we? Well, we make it through the travel day, had a long drive ahead of us, came into camp about one in the morning. We're real excited for the adventure that was gonna begin the next day. Just got here back to camp, getting ready to head out. Just wanted to test out the gear. Looks like the Hoyt and the Beamons are right on. We're up here in Northwest Alberta with Big Bear Country Outfitters, Jason Packer, Steve Overgaard. We're here at what they call the Big Rock Bait. And last week, there was a really, really good bear passed up by a hunter in here that had a split ear. And that seems to be the only reason why this guy passed this bear up. I'm not picky. So we're gonna go in here and set up the spy points and see if we can't get a picture of this bear on this bait. And if we can't slip back in here this week and kill him. So we're gonna head in here to the big rock bait, set up our spy point and see if we can't get this bear on film. That barrel's torn completely away from the tree, Dwayne. I know. I'm gonna put it right there. So that looks like that's lined up pretty good right there. Let Dwayne finish setting up the bait. We'll turn the spy point on and then uh, we'll get on out of here. So hopefully we'll get some pictures of that bear with the split ear and see what he's like. We can get a good judge on him and see if we can come back in here and get on him. Let's roll. Yeah. We're here at Big Bear Country Outfitters with Jason Packard and Steve Evergard. Our guide Dwayne just dropped us off here at the Amber Bait. We just left the Big Rock Bait, set up the spy camps. There's been a lot of activity here. Nobody's hunted this recently. You can see all the activity. There's tons of activity going on right now. There's bear crab everywhere. We know there's some big size boars throughout this bait. So we're hoping maybe tonight we'll see something. If not, this can set something up for later on in the week. So we'll go ahead and have a seat and see, see what happens. We had a couple 
my size bears in here tonight. Had a sow and her cub, a decent sized boar. Saw an amazing thing where he went over and just undid the bait. He wasn't tall enough to quite reach it, so he outsmarted it. Went over to the rope, pulled it off, went off in the distance, started eating the, eating the bait. Him and the sow hung around for about two and a half, three hours while the cub stayed up the tree. They left about 15 minutes ago. I don't think there's gonna be any other action here tonight, but we set up that camera earlier. So hopefully we get some good, uh, good images of that. the next morning at the big rock bait we came in here last night and set up a spy point before we went over to the amber bait we had an absolute awesome night last night at the amber bait we had a sow come in with a little baby cub only about that big then we had a boar come in they were fighting back and forth gave us about two and a half hours worth of footage really really cool night in the stand so there's a bear in here that we're looking for that's got a split ear so hopefully he came in last night and our spy point got pictures of him we're going to create into the bait here, pull the camera, take it back and check it out and see if this is worth coming back to sit tonight. They've been back. It's been hit pretty hard. They uh, got the barrel knocked over and most of the beaver carcass we hung is about gone too. So I'll go over here and grab the camera and see what we got on it. Forty pictures. Forty pictures it got last night on this bait. So let's get back and check it out. I'm excited. It looks like it was hit pretty hard. Hopefully uh, we'll be able to uh, come in here tonight and set it and it'll be productive. So let's get back and check this out. So we went out, we set up the spy points and uh, wouldn't you know it, just like the guys had thought, a couple of the bears showed up on the camera bear with the split ear and another bear with the big scar on his back and uh, these were a couple that were put on the list of bears that we could go after that week so with uh, some promising pictures from the spy point we went out that night climbed into the stand on a big rock bait and just waited for good things to happen like they always do up at big bear country outfitters <laughs> <laughs> We're here in northwestern Alberta, Big Bear Country Outfitters with Jason Packer and Steve Evergard. It's our first night here at camp. Got a hit list. We're looking for a big old boy with a scar down his back. Got another one with a partially missing ear. Here at the Big Rock Bay. We'll keep an eye out and see what happens and we'll get another seat.
It's a smaller guy, so we're gonna sit around and see what happens. So the first day, uh, we knew we were going to be set up at Big Rock Bait. Dwayne and Jason told us there was going to be a couple good boars in there. And uh, what do you know, the first boar they told us about was a scarred back. Walked in within probably the first hour. About an hour after we were in the stand, that big scarred back bear came in. And uh, we knew we knew that was the one Jason and Dwayne were talking about. So, you know, this was my first bear hunt. Freddie was talking me through it, said, hey, you know, let him let him calm down, let him let him get settled before you take that shot and you get comfortable with your shot. So he was in about 15, 20 minutes rummaging around. I waited a little bit, walking around, letting him get comfortable for a little bit. Then he turned broadside, I knew I had that shot. And I sunk that arrow right into him. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. Right there. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> I'm shaking. Had that scarred bear come right in. Jumped up for the beaver. Played around for a little bit, knocked the barrel over. Was facing towards us so I could watch us. He knew we were here the whole time. Got up just for a minute to walk away. I had a small window where I knew I could sink an arrow right in there. So we got him. We got him. Good shot, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Good shot. Thank you, Ralph and Vicky. Thank you, Ralph and Vicky. Well, that bear with the big star came in and uh, Sam lined him up and just put a great shot on that bear. It was a little bit high on the entrance side, uh, but the exit was just perfect. I followed that bear run through the bush and he went about 65 yards and piled up. And uh, Sam was just ecstatic. His first bear kill up at Big Bear Country Outfitters and he's got himself a good bear on the ground and that's a heck of a way to kick off the week. Here at Big Bear Country Outfitters, Freddy's developed a little bit of a tradition. A lot of people say winner, winner, chicken dinner. We say winner, winner, cookie time. Here's the... Thanks, Big Bear Country Outfitters. So we got down out of the tree stand. We knew, you know, exactly where he was, so we started following the blood trail to see which path he took. Here's the arrow. You can see how deep it went in with the blood trail right there on it. He's just spit fire broadhead. Did a great job. So every step I took closer, he was getting bigger. I knew it was a good sized bear and uh, my heart was pounding. I was getting real excited. And once I finally got, you know, got down to him, seeing, seeing that kill shot that I just had, you know, it was breathtaking. It was an amazing experience. We're here in Northwestern Alberta at Big Bear Country Outfitters. Jason Packer and uh, Steve Evergard told us this bear was gonna be here, has a scar on its back, came in within the first hour, started messing around. I knew I had a short time frame to get the shot in. So excited still about it. Um, tracked this a couple hours after I, after I shot it. Real, just really excited about this hunt. Thank you, Ralph and Vicky, Big Bear Country Outfitters again. This is a life-changing experience. Can't tell you how much it means to me.
Well, Sam's got his bear down, but he wasn't the only one to bring along his Hoyt to the tree that night. So we did the old switcheroo. He climbed into the camera stand. I climbed forward into the hunter stand. First two bears of the night. That's a sow that we know has been in here. She has a really blonde muzzle, blonde eyebrows. That's another small boar that our spy point got pictures of. Not the big boy we're looking for, but the action's just starting for the night, so we'll see what else comes in. And uh, wouldn't you know it, about 10 minutes after him and I switch spots, I look up and here comes an absolute monster black bear walking down the clear cut right to us. Night number two up here at Big Bear Country Outfitters with Jason Packer and Steve Overgaard. Sam killed an awesome bear's very first bear ever, squared out at six foot eight. We just got done climbing back up the stands. He's now behind the camera and I'm hunting. We've got a bear in the clear cut right here that is an absolute no-brainer. He's standing over there about 100 yards, eyeballing the bait, just checking it out and make sure it's good. This is an absolute no-brainer bear up here, baby. These kind of bears are why they call it Big Bear Country Outfitters. Here he comes, he's starting to come this way. He's gonna die right there. And that's how we do it in Northwest Alberta with Big Bear Country Outfitters, baby. Two big bears in one night, give me love, son. Boom, baby, God is good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, praise Jesus. Oh. Well, that Spitfire Max really worked over that bear I shot. As you can see, he went about 40 yards and piled up right there on the edge of the clear cut that he came down. It's time to celebrate, get down, and recover our bears. Well, recover at least one of our bears. So we get done with the recovery on Sam's bear, and times are good. Everybody's happy. We just figure we're going to do the recovery on my bear on the way back past, since we have to walk right past my bear to get to Sam's anyways. So we get back over there, we get through the recovery process of what I think we are filming. And wouldn't you know it, new cameraman, new guy behind the camera, he forgot to hit record and my whole recovery never even was filmed. But we did end up some, getting some pretty good pictures of the bears and stuff like that to help finish the things off. And just an awesome, awesome week up there. Big Bear Country Outfitters, Jason Packer, Steve Overgaard, everybody up there at Big Bear Country Outfitters, let me tell you. If uh, you want to go bear hunting and you want to do it right, Big Bear Country Outfitters is the place you need to go. Now you can see why our guys go to Big Bear every year. I and mean, got some big bears. And what a thing for Freddie to share with, for all of us to share with Sam. You know, I mean, here yeah. he was, his first bear hunt, and he, man, he, he didn't hesitate. No, he didn't. Hey, Lucky Logo was Hunter Safety Systems. Bottom line is they save lives. If you happen to see that logo, you need to log on to choicetv.com, click on the lucky logo button, fill out some information. I'm busy here. Fill out some information, and someone's going to get a tree stand, a hunter safety system harness, and a whole bunch of other great stuff. And again, like Ralph said, don't go in a tree without a harness. Did you guys know that 85% of the tree stand accidents come when you're getting into or out of a tree stand? So lifelines, any way to always stay connected to the tree, please do it, if not for yourself, for your family. The bottom line, like Vicki said, is stay connected. Next week's show? Next week, well, yes. guess where? Uncle where? Hop, there you go. the camp first. We're going down Osceola. We're going for the, you know, that wonderful hunt every year that your favorite, the spring your that favorite I wait thing for. to hunt a turkey. And you must be serious and get set up and, you know, always be prepared and ready. Yeah, turkeys. Turkeys. There you go. Thanks for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. You still turkeys. got dog hair on you? Yeah, but you know what? What? A couple more shaving, a couple more, and I'll, I I'll have a full head something. of hair. I'm going blonde, baby. I think he's on point.
Yeah, he probably Look at, no, the really. Biscuit. No, really. He was like pointing that way. <laughs> okay, Listen, that's a lot of smoke. Boomer doesn't point, <laughs> all right? Hey, I think the smoke's getting to her. <laughs>